Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. I'm Tara. It's been a while. Um, been doing some personal readings and starting a new job, so I've been learning new things with that. <clears throat> And I really felt like I needed to get back to this YouTube and share some things with you. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a love reading today, which I rarely ever do. I feel like I'm so jaded in love anymore that <clears throat> I just don't want to hear about it. So um, we are going to get into it today and see um, you, them, and the relationship, okay? And we're gonna pull out the lover's card and see what's in front of it and what's behind it to give us a little bit of information to get us started. Okay. We're just going to go through and find the lovers. Interesting. One's upside down. We're going to turn it right up right now. So it does not affect us. There's the lovers there, and the lovers is upside down as well. This is interesting. Can we have the strength card here? All right, so we have, let's do it this way, this on top, Queen of Swords on top, and the Queen of Cups on the bottom. Wow, two queens with our major arcana here at the Lovers. Oh, there's a lot of feminine energy here. I feel like the masculine energy is not even here, right? With the lovers upside down. Uh, this could be you going off on your own right now, um, not worrying about love, right? Like I was just saying about being jaded by love. Um, I do see some butterflies and some angels on her clothing here on either side this is uh transformations new beginnings being guided by your angels <clears throat> you know they both have wings this is about flying away um we also have some prints on here which i think is the six Right, because the lovers is the six card, which is about harmony. Um, so the card in front is the way to connect into the flow of love with this person. <clears throat> so I think this is you being able to connect with them mentally, since we have the swords here. With your mind, um, yeah, I feel like there's definitely a disconnect there with being able to communicate and bond in that way. Uh, I do see you like, you know, standing here just in your, your own power, kind of kicking it to the curb, right? Um, yeah, I do feel a great absence here of this male figure, this masculine energy. <clears throat> and this is just you taking care of yourself 
and what it is you need to do to protect yourself to move forward. Um, to stand here and be the, pil the pillar of your own life. And the card behind is what separates you. So maybe there is literally an ocean that is separating you. Um, you guys could be in a long distance relationship or somebody has moved away. I feel like that you have moved away. You've moved to the beach to fill your cup, right? So that you can regulate your emotions. <clears throat> Um, do you feel like you are still thinking about this person? Because you're looking up to the sky here. Maybe you are wondering if you made the right decision or not. Uh, it's like wishing upon a star. This is watching the clouds go by, uh, seeing what shapes come out of those clouds. <clears throat> you know, uh, your emotions are ever fleeting they are they pass you by they come and they go they ebb and they flow and this could be kind of rocky sometimes All right never turn your back to the ocean sneaker waves can tear you down take you down drown you But I do feel like you're you're here grounding yourself in the sand now, whereas before you're just kind of in nowhere land. There's nothing grounding you here. There's no ground. It's kind of like the the green screen. <clears throat> you can make your background anything, even though this is purple. Um, you know, you can switch out that narrative, that scenery that's behind you when you have your green screen. Interesting. Okay. Starting off uh, very strong here. Okay. We're going to do you, them, and the relationship. Holy cow. Okay. Seven of Wands. So it's not even really something that I'm trying to pull out here for your reading. Um, but it obviously wanted to come out. I feel like you do need to protect yourself here. Your spirituality, your passions, the things that you want to do. Right? Um, I feel like there's a lot of people coming at you. And they want your crystal ball. Right? You have this intuitive sense and there's a lot of people who might be jealous of that. And they want to take it from you. But nobody can take your intuition from you. You know, I definitely feel like they can block you from it, though. Um, it's always still going to be there, though. That they can never really fully take it from you. So if you can step away from that energy, from the fire from the heat, the smoke that's in your eyes, you'll be able to see clearer when you're here by yourself. Okay. Spirit, I need to know about you. So, yeah, this is a collective reading. So whoever's watching, this is you. The Hierophant. So something about traditions. Um, this could even be marriage, right? He's in a church here. He's like a priest figure. Um, could be like a bishop or something. <clears throat> I'm not in the church, um, family. So, yeah, I don't really know what the, the Corgi, <laughs> the name of it is. Um, 
We do have a peace sign here though, so I feel like there is still some peace here. Um, this could be like peace out. This could be like, um, even though we have this distance, we still have peace. We still have a friendship together. But you are definitely leaving. This is, I'm out of here. Um, kind of screw the traditional way of living in this relationship because I need to grow. Uh, I need to connect with my spirituality. And this is them. The Ace of Wands. <clears throat> so I'm immediately being drawn to the bubbles here. Uh, there is definitely a lot going on in this card, but the bubbles are what are standing out. It's this bubble that we have here of protecting yourself. Be careful that you don't burst the bubble. Right? Um, so this is them. So I feel like they're really in their head about this. And they're trying to protect this relationship because they don't want it to blow up. You know, we have this big ruby here at the top. Uh, it's like your ring, the gemstone that you have. This gem, this precious, precious jewel. That they're trying to protect. You are that precious jewel. Um, they want this to grow. They want us to flourish. And um, you have taken off. So they're kind of left alone here in this field with their, their thoughts. Okay. And then the relationship is the Page of Cups. And here you are alone again. We also have this full moon. <clears throat> This is when you're shedding things, uh, old beliefs, limiting beliefs. And it looks like there's a ruby here as well on this cup, right? So you do still, and there's kind of like a bubble here as well uh, surrounding this. So you are still holding this relationship in your heart. You have that emotion but uh, there is some separation here. You're literally immersing yourself in this water and these emotions and you're taking care of yourself. You're, you're holding this with some protection. I do feel like there might be a little bit of hurt here. She kind of looks like she's crying in this page of cups. Um, so I feel like something might have happened in the relationship to where you took off. And now you're just taking care of yourself and you're protecting yourself. And what does this other person want to say to you right now? I can't express myself. People don't believe in me. I can't talk to you right now. Yeah, there's... Um, Definitely some communication that is broken here. <clears throat> and they're not able to speak their truth. Uh, or they just feel like you don't believe them when, when they say it to you. Um, and so... There's no communication happening. You can't talk to this person. This person feels like they can't talk to you.
And so there is a separation. I release my urge to force happenings. I surrender to my flow. If your world gets Looney Tunes and the path forward seems confusing, step back, chillax, and surrender to your flow. The stuff that feels exciting and easy. Slow down and enjoy something beautiful right in front of you. Perhaps that beautiful something in the mirror is a good place to start when you become the sun. You bypass the clouds. When you flow like the ocean, you wash out the drought. Stop trying so fucking hard to figure things out. Because what if the hokey pokey really is what it's all about? Yeah, you just need to kind of get out of your head here. Um... what feels exciting to you, what is easier for you. Slow down and enjoy something beautiful that's right in front of you. This is about taking care of yourself and refilling your cup. Alright, so today I think I'm going to do a little bit of an extension off of yesterday's reading. Um, it definitely got cut off really quickly by interruptions and was not able to really get fully um, into the reading. I was kind of taken out of my zone. Connecting with spirit. Okay. Which I find funny because uh, I just watched MJ, Soulful Revolution on YouTube. <clears throat> and she was talking about distractions. And so it brought me back to the reading that I did <clears throat> that I wasn't sure if I was going to post it or not. But, um,. I think I'm just going to add it to this one. Or maybe there'll be two separate ones and you just have to watch both. Um, so it's kind of an, an extension, I guess. <clears throat> All right. So this is going to be a love reading. Um, we're going to do Souls on Fire, which is Soulful Revolutions deck. Since I'm kind of channeling her right now. Okay, I'm going to do my own spread. <clears throat> which I haven't used in a while. You, them, the relationship. Uh, the situation. The things that you don't see. And the outcome. Chariot, the world, and the magician. <clears throat> yeah, this is a um, very fast movement here. Very fast. It's instantaneous. <clears throat> it's like you're teleporting from one place to another. This could be um, if you're having some sort of like telepathic phenomena happening with your lover because you guys are in separation <clears throat> yeah I definitely feel like you are in other areas of the world and you are communicating telepathically with each other Maybe the masculine is running towards the feminine here. 
<clears throat> and it's in the, the chariot. All right, and it's funny because they both have their legs kind of kicked up here and they're like facing each other. It's toe to toe. She's looking back at him. It's like he's going the wrong way. Um, this little archway here kind of reminds me of marriage as well. It's walking through that archway to your vows. Right, it's like I put a love spell on you. So the divine feminine is definitely waiting for the masculine here. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, Temperance, and the Four of Cups. <clears throat> okay, this is them. This is the masculine here. I definitely feel like they are a wounded soul. There's some traumas that they still need to get over here. Um, there needs to be some balance. This is about temper too. Maybe there's some sort of anger issues that the, the masculine needs to face. So um, the masculine really needs to sit and meditate and ground himself control the emotions you know um, maybe even put down the cocktails right move on to something else like some some herbal tea something that's going to be a little more healing for the body and the soul not what's that's what's going to help heal this masculine so they do need this little, this time by themselves to figure it out. And this is them, or this is your relationship together. Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords. <clears throat> Yeah, I think you guys are trying to figure this out, right? Which direction are you guys going to go in? Where is this relationship going? Um, you need to come together so that you can build this. Um, you know, to literally build a house, you might be building a house. Um, So I'm laughing because I'm literally rebuilding my house here <clears throat> in Paradise, California. So when this popped up, it was <laughs> very resonant for me. Um, so it kind of made me giggle a little bit, right? Uh, we're trying to work together, but there's like a lot of aloneness here. Um... There's definitely all masculine energy here, even two guys here. So this is, um, you know, the contractors, the friends, whoever is coming to help build this with the divine masculine. Um, there is something about the challenges here. Right, the challenge is to ground himself and balance this out. You know, it's like, where's that passion? Where's that fire? Um, just kind of walking around aimlessly over here, not really doing a whole lot of work. Uh, just kind of standing around a lot of the time. It's almost like, oh, here's the hammer. It's like he's going to pass the hammer to these other people here. Because he doesn't want to do the work. Um, and this is why the feminine is now off in the world doing her own thing. Because of these addictions. Because of the procrastination. Okay, um, you 
interesting. And it's funny because I just realized I didn't even lay out the cards correctly. So normally I have four in each line here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do my own little line off to the side here. This is like, I feel like the distraction, right? I'm not thinking clearly right now. Okay, yeah, this is um, <clears throat> the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. Yeah, so it's the, the two different worlds that the feminine is living in here. <clears throat> the dark and the light, trying to figure out which direction to go. Uh, maybe even getting into some religion or taking some classes, going back to school um, to learn some new things. I don't know, I keep saying B, J on here, B in the dark, J in the light, um, which ultimately reminds me of blowjobs, right? Men love blowjobs, so yeah, I don't know what that has to do with anything here, uh, but it's immediately what I think of. I can't even think of like, what is the other reason for these letters? because I'm so blocked by this and it's like that blue ball syndrome. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's like you need to get your rocks off to, to think clearer. Um, otherwise it's kind of clogging you up. Um, you know, it's service to others. Um, Yeah, and then we have the Four of Pentacles, which is moving to the city here and holding on to your finances. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like this masculine is like kind of stealing all your finances here um, and you, you trying to get away from this, right? This is you out in the world and And we have the Empress, which is stuck between the 3D and the 5D, right? So these are that those two worlds going on there. Yeah, I was talking about talking telepathically with your lover here. That would be this. Um, actually, I thought this was the Soul Consciousness card. And it's not. So there's some sort of delusion or illusion of this magic that's kind of come over me of where I'm seeing something totally different than what it is. Right, that dark and that light. The Empress is um, the one who gives birth, right? The, that mothering nature uh, could be also with the world. Um, starting new things, giving birth to something new. You know, this is something that you've learned from this big city here. Yeah, it's like um, in the relationship, the masculine's not even paying attention to you and what you are doing and what you're trying to accomplish. And look how cute and pretty you look here, but he's just like, Psh, whatever, daydreaming about whatever's going on over here, but it doesn't pay attention to what's going on in the relationship. It's just kind of lost here. Um, so the situation Yeah, I feel definitely um, masculine is lost here, right? So the situation's going down. 
Uh, he's out in his chariot here going out for a ride looking for you. Um, but is tied up in this energy here of lack, of death, of pain. Uh, that he's just kind of wandering around. Uh, just wants to go <laughs> to the lake, right? To kind of mend his sorrows. So, you know, he might have been going towards you, but now he's taking these pit stops. And he's just hanging out at the lake by himself. Uh, maybe this is where his healing journey begins because he's feeling so lost. Okay. The things that are unseen, the world, the tempers, and the three of pentacles. I think the things that are unseen is that this feminine is, is taking off, whether the feminine is still physically here, physically at the house that you're building. Um, she's definitely trying to weigh out the decisions of whether or not she should move on. Should she go through this archway here? She's got one foot in, one foot out, one foot in, one foot out. Um, okay, this would be the action that you need to take, which was the one thing I didn't mention at the beginning. So it's like the absence of action, right? And um, yeah, this is getting in your head and trying to figure out how to make this happen, how to make the magic happen. Thinking about it, getting deep into your emotions about it gathering all the information all the tools that you need um i do see another scroll here so i do feel like uh there is some education here uh, this could even be um a wedding certificate a diploma a de decree um Yeah, this is the rules. This is your your rights. Um, it could even be like your mortgage papers, right? And I feel like the masculine needs to kind of take over here. Uh, this could even be uh, the plans here for the house right so you're holding it up here he's holding it up and has all his tools ready and it's like okay let's let's move on let's get to work i need to do this but then i see a lot of inaction here of where he's just kind of hanging out, right? And we did have the lack of action mentioned at the beginning. Because this, this, <laughs> this male figure is not taking a lot of action and getting this done. He keeps saying a lot of things and procrastinating it and like empty promises. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this today. This is I'm got it here in my hand. See, I'm gonna do this today. But no, I don't I don't really feel that great, so 
I'm gonna just sit and ponder how I feel and just think about it over and over again. And that's the action that I'm gonna take, which is not really action at all. Okay, so the outcome is here, which we kind of already went over. Okay, there's going to be this divide of the two different worlds here. Okay, the masculine's over here by the lake, but you are over here in the city. Okay, but you are really going to shine here in this environment. You're going to be giving birth to something new. Okay. So I want to see what does the feminine have to say to the masculine? Since we already saw what the masculine had to say in the last reading, I want to see what the feminine has to say to the masculine. I am better with my mind than my heart, right? That's that connecting with the the new spirituality, the new learning. Right? I can't promise you anything. Definitely feel like this this feminine is also you know, it's in this balancing right here, trying to figure it out. Like, well, yeah, we started building this house together, uh, but now I don't want anything to do with it. I want to move on. This is taking too long, so I can't promise that I'm going to stick around for it. They have hurt me. Yeah. So I think with all this procrastination going on, the feminine has been hurt by this. Um... It is not really getting anywhere and the feminine definitely wants to move on. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> so is the feminine going to move on to the big city while the masculine deals with his healing. Yes. The manifestation of new ideas and actions give you a strong chance to achieve a significant impact. A promising opportunity has arisen that requires your immediate attention. This miraculously solves the previous predicament, changing your life for the better. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna find out when and how. Okay, we have the yes. Hmm. Interesting. So this is the volcano. Um, a little side note. So I was just talking about volcanoes with MJ on my one-on-one -on -one with her. Uh, on how a couple of readings where some of the people I read for who got angry at me for one reason or another um, both had volcanoes in their reading. And so I find it interesting that the volcano is popping up again. Um, I'm calling it the hot air. It's the anger that's erupting, exploding. Um, it's almost like the tower moment, right? Or things are going to happen suddenly. The volcano of hot emotions reveals versatility in the situation. However, enjoy the versatility. It makes life interesting. 
use your irresistible desires to complete what you started. Let it help you in two to three months, you'll find a want quantitivity qualitatively fresh approach qualitatively that is a hard word hard word to read <laughs> okay i thinking it's saying you'll find quality in the fresh approach so within two to three months here okay um, also with this spread, usually these two cards are my timing card. Um, you know, the temperance I feel like is almost instantaneous because like your temper will change really quickly, um, with your emotions here, especially if you're drinking, um, the four of cups that is, let's see, so wands is days. Swords are weeks, and then so cups are months. So within four months, right? So we have um, two to three months here. We also have four months. So really two to four months. Two, two three, four. I think yeah, the feminine is going to be moving to the city. Death is my home. Death is divine. If you lived each day as if it were your last, how would you experience change? You probably wouldn't complain about the weather, whine about your job, or think of things like, why can't I just catch a break? Instead, you'd be out raging in your undies in the middle of a rainstorm, climbing up an apple tree, shredding tears to the beauty of the natural world. You'd be yelling calabunga as you swing down from a branch into a puddle of glorious mud. The elixir of earth. Oh, interesting. Like the elixir of the world here. You wouldn't be resentful or entitled. You'd be appreciative and full of love. The closer you hang to your homie, death, the more your moments come alive. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, and then I see this here on the top. My pumping, by pumping my action muscle, I make hesitation my bitch. Whenever you feel the hesitation gremlin sneaking in, count down from five and pump up your action muscle. Turn the alarm clock off. Count down from five and jump out of bed like a squid on a rocket to space. I also got the squid in a reading yesterday. So a lot of synchronicities, signs, and symbols are coming up for me. Put your gym shorts on. Count down from five and jog out the door like you're running from your mother-in-law. <laughs> the chariot. Sip your coffee. Maybe there's your coffee there. Count down from five and say hello to that sexy peer who is too shy to talk to you. If you don't pump up your action muscle, you have a 100% chance of never making progress. Ooh, wow. That's very significant because we had that lack of action here. So you need to pump up that action muscle. You can have it all if you flush your hesitation monsters down the commode. Yeah. For sure. Right? Quit whining and complaining about how terrible you feel. Get up and start 
exercising. Get those muscles going. Okay. Yeah. I definitely resonated with this. Um, it's funny when I do some of these collective readings, how I really feel like spirit's just talking to me. Um, and I feel like spirit talks to me more through these collective readings than it does when I'm doing my personal readings sometimes. So it's very interesting energy of how, um, I really do feel like we're all supposed to be together as a collective because we are stronger as a collective than we are individually and how we need to be able to help each other out. You know, because I feel like there's like a lot of aloneness going on around here and we only have the one card of where we're together and it's not enough. quite painful okay my sweet family thank you for being here um I know I haven't posted in a very very long time and uh, I really want to change that it's my own limiting beliefs and healing that I need to be dealing with and all the things that I am learning right now it's kind of overwhelming for me and um, it's kind of put me in this little bit of a halt here of where I just need to chill and relax as well before I can move on. Um, but I want to be here for you and I want you to be here for me. So I'm going to try to put myself out there more. And I really hope that the things that I do help you Okay, help you to grow. Thank you for being here with me. One who seeks, please check out my website, one who seeks.info. I do have some cool swag that you can get there. You can book your personal readings. Uh, please share this with others who would have the same interest, uh, might get something out of the reading, might resonate with them and like it comment uh, and definitely subscribe okay that really helps me out helps my channel out helps me to grow and helps me accomplish what I'm trying to do here okay so help me help you by you helping me <laughs> okay all right thank you love you guys take care out there I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.